Guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So we got another review for you. I mentioned a little bit about this hot plate um, when I was doing the uh, review on our Hamilton Beach uh, convection oven. So, like I was saying in the other video, uh, for the last couple of years, had no stove in the house, you know, human sized one. So we've been using the convection oven and uh, actually this hot plate. We also have a gas burner too. I'm actually going to do a review on that one as well. Uh, this one's made by Salton, and it's a two burner, 1500 watt. Um, it actually has uh, nice features here for, you know, you got off, you got low, medium, high, uh, both burners, so pretty good. And you can dial in your temperature uh, pretty decently as well. Uh, so you got like in between, you know, low and medium type of thing. Red lights tell you that they're on. Um, 1500 watts, so it chews about 12 and a half amps, is about what 1500 watts draws in amperage. Um, pretty stable little unit. We picked it up actually used for, for 10 bucks. Uh, they sell for about, I guess, 20, 30 bucks brand new, somewhere around there. But like I said again, um, like I did in the other video, um, if you're going to need something like this at the cottage or in your trailer or whatever type of thing, these are really ideal. If you're rednecking it at home because your you know, stove blew up like ours did and couldn't afford a new one real uh, soon, well, for, for a couple of bucks for this thing and you know, 127 for the convection oven we got, um, you, know, you can jiggle things around. Plus we have a gas burner too as a third burner if needed. Um, but um, these do work great. But, you know, I had mentioned in the other video too, my wife now has a full size stove again. She's very, very happy. Um, and she doesn't have to do all this stuff again because it's, it's something to juggle, let me tell you. Runs 120 volts, which is great. Um, you know, pretty easy cleanup. Now these burners don't actually uh, come out like your conventional stove burners do. So if you want to clean this dish out inside, uh, basically, you know, carve up all the crap that gets stuck down there. Suck it up with a vacuum would be the simplest way. Um, the other thing you'd have to do is disassemble it in little bits and pieces. Um, there's actually a screw in the middle that holds this in. And then you can take the whole unit out, disconnect stuff, and do a better cleaning um, as you need to. But otherwise, I mean, you're pretty solid on that one. Um, so it is a good unit. Uh, these are actually really popular too in college dorms. A lot of kids want to cook in their dorm. They usually buy something like this because um, they're inexpensive and they'll cook a meal, you know. And uh, in college, uh, you know, even when I was in college, it wasn't about cooking, you know, full meals and stuff. It's whatever we could throw on the burner type of thing. I didn't live in college dorms, uh, but, you know, so I didn't um, really have a major use for one of these. But I use my cooktop on my stove a lot. And, uh, you know, just, it's the way college kids are, right? So, uh, very idealistic. So pretty much any of these uh, units should be good. You know, you don't have to buy salt in per se, but um, this one's really good. Um, I never give everything, you know, a five out of five. So four out of five is what I do for something like this too. Um, it's had a lot of usage over the last couple of years, you know, um, so it's been through hell. It's still staying together. So it's a really good quality product, you know, even for the price too. Very good quality product. There's a lot of junk out there, um, you know, and there's good stuff for maybe a couple of dollars difference, you know, and uh, for what we got this for used, you know, for 10 bucks, and it's given us a couple of years of service of every single day use, you know, a couple of, de couple of meals a day. She's uh, going strong still and probably will for a long, lot longer, but we don't need it anymore, so it just gets saved as an emergency system now. So, um, that's about all I can really tell you about this machine. Um, it's just an overall really good machine and it works. And uh, so if you're looking at purchasing something like this, the two burner ones are definitely a bonus and the better way to go. And uh, you know, you can run both burners at the same time and you're still only chewing up uh, 12, and, 12 and a half amps or 1500 watts total. Um, you know, so they do work really, really well. Um, one thing that we did learn was don't plug this into an outlet and something else into the same outlet at the same time unless that item chews uh, less than 3 amps because 12 and a half is almost 13 amps. It gives you 2 and a half amps left over and you don't want to uh, always run 15 amps full out on something uh, you know, continuously. So try and keep something else around the 2 amp range and you know, you're not going to pop any breakers, right? So 
you know, you can do certain things. Um, but uh, anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave your uh, comments and we'll definitely see you in the next video.